Istanbul, the 25th of March, 2012, 10.40 a.m. Istanbul is the next step for the caravan. الان معادلات جهانی توی روابط فرق کرده الان شما می‌بینید آمریکا از اون سر دنیا پا میشه میاد افغانستان رو می‌گیره بعد میاد عراق رو می‌گیره بعد توی بحرین پایگاه می‌زنه بعد توی استرالیا پایگاه می‌زنه ای آمریکا منتظر نیست توی مرزهای خودش بشینه که کسی بیاد لب مرزها اون میره تو مرزهای کشورهای دیگه ما هم همینه ما اگر صبر کنیم بشین تو مرزهای ایران جبهه نورد میاد مرزهای ایران اگه ما توی فلسطین نجنگیم توی لبنان نجنگیم مرز بعدی که قرار به جنگیم مرز ایرانه تهران باید به جنگیم فضای روشن فکری هست هست که شما خیلی جالبه که به مخالفت کنی با این سیاست ها و اینکه اون هزینه دشمن رو تبلیغ که میکنه اون هزینه که جایی باید جواب بده دیگه اون هزینه اینجا جواب بده اون چند میلیاردی که سالانه توی ایران خرج میکنه به اسم ترویج دموکراسی که خودشون میان علنا اعلام میکنن که ما امسال اینقدر میلیارد دلار میلیون دلار تخصیص دادیم برای ترویج دموکراسی در ایران این پولا هم اینجا هزینه میشه اون جوان ایرانی میاد تمام تفکرش عوض میشه راجع فلسطین اگر هر کشوری اینقدر پولش هزینه بشه هم اتفاق خواهد افتاد یعنی اینقدر که ما دشمن داریم این هزینه ای که میشه روی فرهنگ ما و درست ما داخل نواقصی داریم اون تا اینقدر هزینه ای که میشه روی فرهنگ ما اگر رو هر خود آمریکا اگه اون هزینه میشد الان آمریکا صد بار زمین خورده بود This is one of the regions of Istanbul where Shiite people live You know, you've been on this caravan from day one. You've been experiencing a lot of different things that have made you obviously, you know, tired. Uh, if you had an opportunity to speak to Netanyahu, to have your message heard by the ears of Netanyahu, what would you tell him right now? I would like to tell him that we are the people, the big caravan, carrying the message of humanity and secularity for the entire world. We are fighting for free Palestine, which perhaps may appear as a small piece of land. And one may wonder why people of the world are uniting together for the freedom of this piece of land. But it's a very important symbol. Freedom for everybody, freedom for entire world, whether you are big or small, you are rich or poor. And therefore, I think this is the message I would like to carry, that we are all part of this global peace march. I am Sayyid Ali Akbar from Philippines. We are the representative of Global March to Jerusalem Philippine National Committee. I, I am the convener of JMJ in the Philippines, Voice of Palestine. Well, what I mean to ask is that they may act with violence. Are you ready for this? We are ready to become Shaheed, Shaheed Martyrs uh -huh. okay. in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. Yeah. And then, inshallah, Palestine will be free, inshallah. inshallah. We are waiting only for the time. The 26th of March, 
Racing, the 27th of March, 2012, 10 p.m. This is Marsin Coast in the south of Turkey. Passengers are waiting to board the ship. İnşallah 30 Mart'ta toprak yürüyüşünde görüşmek üzere. Allah'a emanet Our fellow travelers are reciting a poem in different languages and they're singing a song about freedom. Jerusalem will be free, you will see, you will see. Jerusalem will be free, you will see, you will see. Karwane azadi mi The interesting point is that members of the caravan are humming the poem in the non-native languages. So we can add the Turkish one. Turkish? The Indonesian Committee is one of the initiators of the Global March to Jerusalem and we are part of the Asian People Solidarity for Palestine and I hope our uh, movement can smash uh, Zionist Israel existence and also uh, make people in the world more aware about the suffering and the pain of Palestine uh, freedom and Palestine independence. Beirut, the 29th of March, 2012, 12.30 a.m. 
After entering Beirut, the caravan is invited to a press conference, and there, the European and the American caravans join with Asians. Unification of many forces and of many peoples and many different languages and many religions all across the world. It's the biggest coalition in that way that has ever existed in solidarity with Palestine, and this is its importance. In this sense, it has been a great success. I can report to you that more than 80 demonstrations from around the world will take place in different countries uh, tomorrow. And even after it's finished, we probably won't know how many participants, but we, we're expecting more than a million uh, in, in all these different places. And we're very happy with that. This, this is a very successful uh, march, but we do not, we do not uh, believe in success until Palestine is free. We do not believe... <laughs>